Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and as you probably know, Facebook ad retargeting is actually one of the cheapest and most highly targeted forms of advertising. But I know a lot of you may be confused on how to set it up or whatever, so I've gotten some questions, so I'm gonna do a video on how I actually set up my ads. Alright guys, so here we are in my power editor. Obviously, if you don't already have your business manager set up, you're going to have to do that. Uh, but you can just do a quick Google search and, and figure out how to do it. It's pretty easy. Just go to Facebook or business.facebook.com and it should walk you through. Now, also make sure that you have a business manager as opposed to using your personal ad account. Uh, because if it gets shut down for whatever reason, then uh, and if it's connected to your personal account, then your personal account will get shut down as well, which obviously would not be ideal. So go ahead and make your own uh, business manager. And once you have it, what you're going to do is click on uh, this little menu here, go all tools, ads manager. And this is where we're actually going to create our ad. <clears throat> so um, depending on the type of ad you are running, you're obviously going to have different uh, marketing objectives. Now, for me, because the, the person that we're targeting has already seen my website, they've already seen my, uh, my product, what I want to do is uh, you know, optimize specifically for purchases, and I only want to pay when somebody actually purchases. So we're going to hit conversions, and then scroll down, make sure this is on purchases, not on any other of this stuff, and campaign, I'll just do like uh, test retargeting or something, um, and we're going to set up the ad account. Okay, we'll continue. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, name the ad set. So what I usually like to do is name it something uh, you know that I can actually understand. So we'll just say uh, usually I say the website name or the product name. So I'll just say test you target campaign um, website visitors. Okay, so these are all the people that have visited my website or visited a certain product. Sometimes I'll do it specifically for a product, um, and I'll do uh, no purchase. So these are people that have seen my website but have not actually purchased, uh, you know, whatever it is. So uh, I don't have my Pixel set up because this is just a test account, like I said. But obviously, you're going to have to install your your Facebook Pixel, which you can just do a Google search again and figure out how to do that. It's pretty easy. Uh, I'm not going to go over that in this video. Um, but now, what we come down to is actually creating the audience, and this is the people that you're actually going to target. So uh, we're going to go create new custom audience. And we're going to go off website traffic. So these are people that have actually been to our website. So uh, when you actually have your pixel installed, it'll be a, a little bit easier. But um, you can do anything from all website visitors to people that have uh, visited a specific web page. Um, if you want to do all visitors, that's like everybody that's visited your website. Sometimes that's good. Usually I like to go with people that have visited a specific web page because that means that, um, say, I'm targeting somebody who... Uh, has looked at a specific bracelet, then I can only target the pages of people that have visited that, that specific page, meaning that they've seen it before and have been exposed to it. So, uh, you know, let's just type in, I don't know, I'm just going to type in something random like Nike.com. Um, say everybody who has visited the specific page that's who are retargeting. Obviously, you're going to use the, you know, whatever the specific URL of your product is, um, you know, but that's what we're going to do. Now, um, I usually like to do last seven days, um, so the last week, uh, because that will be fresh in their mind. If you do 30 days, then you know they kind of forget about it. So you want to keep it fresh in their mind, so we'll do last seven days. And also, uh, we want to go to exclude. We're going to exclude the people. Um, when you have your Facebook pixel installed, you will be able to, to see it. But basically, um, and on this dropdown, you'll, you'll be able to exclude people who have actually purchased. Now, you won't be able to do that unless uh, you actually have purchases on your Pixel, which obviously I don't because it's not set up yet. But if you do, you'll see a purchase uh, button here and you can exclude by people that purchase. So basically, anybody who's visited your website but has not bought is who this ad is gonna target. So, because uh, I can't do that, I guess um, I'll just do this. And we're gonna name the audience, um, let's do test. Uh, Website visitors no purchase last seven days and this is kind of like a rolling uh, this is going to stay consistent or not consistent but this is going to be um, you know the last seven days from today last seven days from tomorrow last seven days from you know the next day so it's it's kind of rolling so we're going to create the audience and hit done 
And here, make sure it's 1865 plus. I usually you like to take this off. Make sure, because you, you want to you know, have the broad targeting of everybody that's possibly visited your website, not just the US. Uh, gender all, languages all, um, all this stuff. Okay, for placements, I usually go to edit placements. And usually I just like to do the Facebook feed, so I uncheck that, and Instagram feed. So I uncheck all of these as well. So just Facebook and Instagram feed. The rest of them I don't really find any use for. Uh, I don't know, they're, they're just kind of whatever. Um, lastly, go down here and we're gonna change this budget to five bucks a day. Uh, no reason to make it more. A lot of times you only spend a couple cents, maybe a buck a day, especially when you're first starting. Um, you know, so it's not really a big deal. And make sure that this is one day click. Um, I like to start with one day click. You can mess around and do seven day click, but basically what this means is that um, it only tracks the conversion, aka the purchase, if the person clicks on the ad and purchases within the same day, um, as opposed to like you know purchasing later. So uh, I usually like to keep it on that, but you know you can do whatever whatever you'd like. We're gonna hit continue, and this is where we actually make our our product. So um, you're gonna have to connect your Facebook page again. This you know this test account. And what you can do is actually uh, you know create a post on the page, or you can do a single image. So we'll just upload an image. Uh, let's see if I have anything. Let's just say that we're we're selling this cat, right? Um, so obviously, never going to be selling a cat in real life. But you're going to want to make sure that uh, you know it fits the dimensions. Which uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly what the dimensions are. But um, you know, you can just do a Google search and you can figure out what the dimensions are. And just uh, you know, you can create an ad in Canva <clears throat> if you'd like, or you could just use a product image and, and throw it in here. Uh, for website URL, obviously, you're going to just use the URL of your website. So in this example, let's just do Nike. Um, for the headline, um, depending on your offer, again, right, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different. So if you're doing 50% uh, you know, off, if you're doing free plus shipping, if you're doing buy one, get one free, it's going to be different. But let's just say, um, you know, assume that it's free plus shipping. We'll say today only... Um, 100% free, um, and that's going to be there. Then the, the text will, uh, this is where we basically just want to entice them. Just say, um, get, well, in this case, it's cat, but, you know, obviously you're going to use your product. Get your, your uh, cute kitten 100% free today. Whoops. Today only, just pay shipping and handling. Okay, but that's not how you spell handling. That's how you spell handling. So, uh, you know, get your whatever product 100% free today only, just pay shipping and handling. Um, we could even throw in uh, uh, supply is limited. So, Get yours before we run out. And sometimes I like to throw emojis in there too. Um, you know, just whatever, just to make it you know stand out a little bit. Um, but then below that, I'll put like uh, get yours here, and I'll do some sort of arrow. And let's say like www.nike.com. You're obviously going to use your own URL. Um, oops. we'll space that out a little bit but basically now you can see and uh, I might copy and paste that twice just so, so they can see it but basically these these people have already seen this ad right they've already seen this product so they're going to be more likely to click on it you, you basically are just trying to uh, get, get the point across so uh, for call to action I'm going to do shop now makes the most sense um, all the rest of this stuff, I believe, is is good. Um, if you'd like, you could change the newsfeed link description, which is this part, um, and just change it to like a slight description of uh, you know whatever the product is. Um, you could do that, or it automatically uses the product description anyways from your your site. So you know whatever you want to do, and uh, make sure your Facebook pixel is on for this. Um, 
And we're gonna hit confirm. Let's see, what's the error? Oh, the error is that we don't have our pixel. But once you hit the confirm button, uh, you know, you'll be able to confirm it. It'll ask you for your ad account information, your payment method, all that stuff. And you should be able to confirm it and it'll start running ads pretty much immediately, you know, within a few hours or so. And you should start seeing some conversions. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you found some value in terms of how to be able to actually set this up. Uh, it's not that difficult, but um, there's some things that you actually need to, you know, to know before you do it. So if it was helpful, look, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and let me know that you like it by hitting the like button because uh, I'm dropping free value for you guys every single day and I think it's super helpful for you guys. I've been getting some some you know helpful feedback and all that stuff. So if it was helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you wanna get started with Shopify for free, I actually have a link in the description below for a 14 day Shopify free trial that you can check out. I do get a small commission and it helps me out a bit, but it doesn't like affect you at all. It's obviously free. Um, so yeah, if you wanna help me out and you know get the free trial, go ahead and click that link in the description below. And uh, lastly, if you have any comments or questions or anything, either uh, you know let me know in the comments below or you can DM me at Nash Hagen on Instagram. And uh, you know, I usually get back within a few hours or so and I'm trying to respond to everybody. Uh, a lot of people are having questions, which is good, I'm trying to help out as many people as I can uh, in the process of it. So if you wanna do that, you know, you know where to do it now. And uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning.